Falzone, and this is 4 for 4 SciTech, where we discuss four hot SciTech topics in just four minutes. Ever hear that expression, you're flushing money down the toilet? Well, according to some scientists, it could be taken quite literally. Lauren, please explain this crappy situation. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I know. There's so many punning opportunities with this story, but it's true. Scientists estimate that for every 1 million people and their waste, there could be up to $13 million worth of metals. That includes gold, silver, zinc, titanium. It's because of all these products that we use in mm -hmm. our everyday life, from deodorant to hair to hairspray, it gets into our system, and where else has it got to go but out? <laughs> if I Go on. If I find out that my jewelry is made from this stuff, I'm sending it back. <laughs> I don't care. It just loses its luster. There are but diamonds made of old people's ashes. But oh, okay. Any, anyway, sorry. <laughs> no, but it, I mean, I, I just think it's it's interesting. If I could make money this way, I'm, I'm all for that. But I'd like to know what I'm ingesting that causes this. It's kind of like this weird modern day gold rush, you know, and there's something mm -hmm. kind of both inherently funny and gross about this. But, you know, we did a story early this week on researchers at Mississippi State who were looking for a way to turn waste into basically an alternative to mm -hmm. diesel. So you never know, like there could be something like this out there. But this is important, guys. Do not go digging through your solid materials trying to find <laughs> gold. You will not find it. Cloning is a highly controversial topic, and now a scientist wants to clone a mammoth. Katie, do you think that this is a brilliant idea? I don't know about you, but I like my mammoths in museums. I think this would be an interesting scientific feat, but I don't think I'd like seeing mammoths walking around. Um, Stomping people's would, heads. Yes. No. Where, would, where would they put them all? I think cloning in general is, is again, an yeah. amazing scientific feat, but I just, it kind of creeps me out. I'd like to think I'm the only only Katie. Kind of in, this, in this case, like the whole idea is that like a lot of scientists are saying this is doable, but in this specific one, he's going to need an intact strand of mammoth DNA, and like I don't know where does one find that? Like that's a big, big question. I don't know. Yeah, and also we're not going to be having mammoth clones anytime soon. Basically, what they did is they took mammoth DNA and spliced it into mm -hmm. elephant DNA. So these cells, they're more of hybrids between the two animals. So I don't think we'll ever be getting a mammoth booted up back again, but you never know. I mean, if it looks like a mammoth and it walks like a mammoth, I mean, is it a mammoth even if it has some That's elephant in big it? That's a big But it really does come down to science always finds a way, but it's if we should, and that's the ethical debate. Listen up, gamers. In the future, doctors could prescribe video games for your brain. Mind blown. James, is this really happening? Because you have a lot of people out there who are like, what, 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 what? It really is happening. <laughs> Something called Project Evo. It's video game style technology that the, the manufacturer describes as electronic medicine. Mm -hmm. Basically the whole idea that it could be used to treat cognitive disorders like ADHD. Like I haven't had a chance to, to try this out yet. I really want to see what it's like in effect. But I know years ago I did a story on the U.S. military's use of video game style technology and headsets to test PTSD. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that this could be used mm -hmm. for. We just don't know yet. Video games to cure ADD. I think I could use that. But wait, what, are we, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I think actually this could be really interesting if it cures autism or at least alleviates some yeah. of the symptoms. That could really be helpful to mm -hmm. a lot of parents out there who are Absolutely. dealing with a lot. Right. Plus, this is fun. I have a confession. I love gaming and I love logic based. Oh, yeah puzzle gaming. So I think this is a great way to get people engaged. I yeah. mean, I feel like when we talk about strengthening our brain, people think of like tedious homework. But what better way to kind of stave off things like Alzheimer's and, and also with, with this too, games. it's a great alternative to the regular medicine that a lot of young people that have ADHD are on. Twitter has found a new way to block offensive tweets thankfully. Do you think the new plan will work out, Lauren? I love their intentions. I think something definitely needs to be done about getting rid of these offensive tweets on our newsfeed. They're introducing this new quality filtering that you verified users can test out before it goes mainstream. However, I don't know. I mean, these algorithms, they look for offensive words, bad language, but do they really pick up on nuance? Sometimes people are just being sarcastic. Yeah. It's really hard to find that stuff online, I, I, but I do commend them for trying to at least solve the problem in some way. I mean, I think it's great that these social media companies are taking a lead on this, but you know what? Like, this problem starts in the home and it starts in school rooms. Yep. Like, you know, kids have got to learn better social media behavior. And I think that's at the root of this. I agree with Lauren. I think their intentions are in the right place, but there will still be harassers. There will still be stalkers no matter what they do, but at least it's an effort. 
To echo what James said, I think it does start in elementary school now. Social media is so prevalent that there needs to be a social media etiquette course 101 that says words do hurt, they are harmful, and there should be some repercussions for those actions. Now, you know what we think. Tell us what you think on Twitter with the hashtag 444SciTech.